Hi, hello, welcome back to Bioenergetics with me, Devaraj. Yeah, we're down on the floor again today for some leg and back exercises. And these are particularly taken from the work of a man who's generally credited as the father of bioenergetics, Alexander Lowen. And uh, I got most of them out of this book. And I made a little medley of them, basically. The Way to Vibrant Health. It's a good book. In fact, it's about the only book written about bioenergetics with actual a lot of postures in it. A situation I hope to correct when I make my own. I've got my little list here. So you're going to need like a yoga mat if you're on a hard floor or, you know, something where you can be comfy lying down for a little while. And then you're also going to need a rolled up blanket, one that is kind of comfy to lie over in the sense of lying over it like this. So it gives you a little bit of stretch up, but not too much and not, not so you can't feel it. So I'll take a little time to find those things. I'm actually, this is not so much a workout, so I'm just going to go through these postures one after the other. It's about seven or eight or nine of them. And, uh, you know, you can do them in your own time. You can do them as a sequence, but they don't need to be done as a sequence. Okay, so we're going to start in a kind of rest position. Just make sure we're in the right, good pose. Yeah, lying back on your mat, your tailbone on the floor, shoulders, on, shoulders back, body relaxed. And to start, you can just put your hands on your belly and breathe and feel. That's a start position. You do that for about 30 seconds, a minute to kind of relax yourself and get ready. Feel inside your body. And then arms by your side. The first posture is stretching up with the legs. And what you do is essentially try and get your legs straight and vertical and with your soles of your feet, you know, pushing towards the ceiling. And try and do it so that your body starts to shake a bit. If you really, really straighten your legs and stretch up, try and keep your tailbone on the floor. At some point, you might notice a kind of a shaking comes into your body. You just <laughs> lets it. You're stretching your muscles to the point where they want to release. If you don't get a shaking, don't go in a big self-criticism trip about it. Maybe you either need to go a little bit, practice a bit more, whatever. But give your body a good stretch like this. Okay, that's the first posture. You can do that for 30 seconds a minute. It's usually enough for most people. And then the second posture is... Do the same, but you take your toes in your hands like this, head still on the floor, tailbone maybe a little bit off the floor, and again you stretch, stretch those legs straight, and breathe and feel. This is a key part of bioenergetics, you know. If you, are, you go in a posture and you kind of grimly hold on, it's not really achieving very much. You need to breathe and feel, breathe out deep through the mouth, make a bit of sound. It, it can be good just to, to prove to yourself you're breathing out properly. Ah, 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 ah. So you really feel the intensity of the stretch on your legs and you breathe and make a sound. It shows you're engaged with the body, you know, and it opens the body up. So you do that for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, the next posture, and take a, take a break between them if you need to. The next posture, it's stretching your feet up, and then you stretch also your arms up. And again, make... Eyes open this time, especially looking up at the ceiling and like you're reaching and stretching up for something, maybe one of your parents or something you want. It's a good heart opening exercise. Ah, ah, ah. You can even say, please give it to me. Ah, ah, I want it. I want it. Ah, ah. Let yourself break open a little bit, you know. Ah, oh, God, I really want it. Ah, don't be keeping a macho front on. Ah, ah. Ah, do that for a little while. 50, again, 30 seconds to a minute is great. And then, what have we got to? Okay, the next pose that we're going to go through while we're here, going through these quite quick. Feet up and you start to rotate the ankles first one way for 30 seconds or so. My ankles are quite a bit locked because I had some operations on my ankles when I was a kid. But hopefully you can get the idea we rotate them one way. And then rotate back the other way. It's good, really stretching the ankles, rotating and back a few times around. It's a good one for me actually because my ankles are pretty, I had all these operations and shit, they're not so good. And then just concluding that with a little kick out, you put one foot down, back on the floor, knee up, and you really kick out with a 
Kick that ankle out. Keep breathing while you're doing it. Ah, always in these exercises, try to be vigilant for any time when your breathing kind of stops and really ah, re-engage and breathe. That's the core of bioenergetics. This deep breathing and engaging with the feeling. Kick the other one out. That's that exercise. And da, 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 da. Aha, now we're going to get our rolled up blanket. And for this next exercise, put it behind here. I'm just demoing these exercises to make clear, you know, you normally would do them a little bit longer, but we're just going through. And in this pose, your feet up, you just relax mm. and breathe so that your tailbone is still on the floor and your back, your um, shoulders are still on the floor, your back of your head on the floor, arms relaxed by your side. And you just breathe and feel. <sighs> <sighs> You know, you can stay in this position a minute or two, even longer. It's very healthy. Again, make sure you're really breathing and feeling into your body as you do it. That's the key. And then the next exercise, we're going to kind of just move this blanket down so it's right under the tailbone. And then bring your knees up and kind of wrap your arms around your knees and stretch back the other way. So you're kind of creating the opposite curve in your lower back. Ah. 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 Okay, where have we got to? Reverse arch. Okay, five stretch. We're coming near the end now of the exercises. In this exercise, you take your feet up again, but this time you're going to spread them wide. Ah, trying to keep the legs fairly straight. Like in this kind of vertical plane. Stretching out as wide as you can. Stretching the backs of the legs and the thighs. Ah, and breathing deep while you do it. Ah, ah, ah. And then finally letting go. Coming back. And we're just going to complete this with a little kind of bounce out, you know, let your, your put your, put your feet, soles of your feet back on the mat, arms relaxed, head relaxed, and just let yourself kind of bounce out, maybe your arms come up like mine. <sighs> Key thing again, breathe and feel, make a bit of sound on the out breath. <sighs> Just have a little bounce and then at the end you just lie back and relax you can take the take the blanket rolled up blanket away and just lie back and ah, relax so that's the sequence of exercises from alexander lowen most of those are from lowen i think maybe one i added but probably is in his work somewhere and uh you know that was not something you have to follow along with i may make a follow along version of a minute or two in each in each position uh, soon one of the bioenergetic workouts but it should give you a good grounding of these exercises and you can try them and particularly look for the ones you don't like doing you know this is the when you start to get a bit advanced and more aware or maybe even at the beginning with bioenergetics look for the ones you don't want to do and look if you can do them basically is the bottom line because there's going to be stuff there that needs to clear you know if every exercise was really easy and simple and you just thought yippee i a Bioenergetics wouldn't be achieving a lot. It wouldn't be achieving a lot. So look for the exercises that are a bit tough and give those a bit of focusing. Focus on them and uh, you'll find over time a lot of stuff starts to move. Okay, that's, uh, that's it from me today and I hope you've enjoyed watching and that these exercises work for you. Over and out for now.